Welcome to Nice. Hello friends, we made it to Nice. We're staring at the ocean and the beautiful buildings behind us, the palm trees. Let's we'll do a it's quick so little 360. 360. It's nice when you land in Nice at the airport, you're like a 10 minute Uber drive to the most main. of all the hotels, the yeah. main area. And so we landed, we got to the hotel, checked in. And now we're headed out for some lunch. We're gonna explore, yeah. we're trying to pursue the jet lag. We only slept like, what, four hours? Did we sleep five hours? Like four or five. Four, four and a half hours on the plane. It's plenty, so that's all we need. We landed and we're just trying to push through the day yeah. and then just go to sleep tonight. Hopefully we get our bodies on somewhat of a clock. We always have the worst jet lag, so. We'll be good. We're trying. We'll be good. We, um, I surprised Julia, I surprised Julia with first class Tickets oh, from yeah. New York to Nice. Wait, you should insert the video here. I'll insert it here. <laughs> Julia. Oh, this is 15. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, you're right there. <laughs> For real? Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying that because it allowed us to get some sleep. Yes, it did. We got to actually lay down, yeah. um, and that was huge. Or else, I don't know. It's just hard, hard to sleep on planes, as you guys know. It was worth it. Like the little bit of extra money was worth the the sleep, the comfort of the flight, and the comfort of once you land, you're not all achy and stuff like that. Totally. Like, that is one example where money can buy some happiness there. Absolutely. So, anyways, um, we're walking anywho. to Old Town. Yes, we're gonna walk down the beach. And we're thinking maybe we need some lunch, maybe look around some vintage stores. It's like, like noon right it's now. It's like noon, so we're doing good. It's Monday. It's only us here right now, Julia and I. Her yeah. parents get in later this afternoon. We're gonna play by ear on what we're gonna do and stuff. So. Exactly. We're excited. We're at this little market that we stumbled upon in Old Town. It's basically Trujan Hunter Paradise. Lots of antiques. Things like that. It's kind of like a flea market vibe. Cool, cool stuff. We're crashing pretty fast. Oh. Oh. Closed. Yeah, we're, we're declining. Fast. We're declining fast. So we're trying to stay awake. So it's like maybe we'll go shopping for a little bit and try to stay awake. Otherwise, if we go back to the room, we're just gonna. We're done. To, we're done. So we decided we're gonna go to Zara. Zara. Kill some time. Honestly, Wait for Julia's parents to get here. Honestly, like, we, well, where we just were, it's a lot of, like, souvenir shops. So we're trying to get to, like, maybe some normal areas. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot here. We're jet We are so sleepy, y'all. It's almost three. Wait, we were in the right way. Yeah. It's almost three o'clock, and we're trying to make it till tonight. We're screwed. But if we can just push through, that's why it's better that we walk. Oh, look. Galleries Lafayette. Yeah, this looks kind of like Paris. Like, where? The Palace Vendome? Yeah. A little bit. Um, so far, so good, though. Nice is cool. The, the ocean seems like the biggest special uh, point of the town, yeah. obviously. And, and I'd like to see more of the local side of Nice because I feel like it's cool. I guess what would we compare it to? Like, what's another beach, like, um, city? on the beach. It feels like a little bit like Mexico vibe. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, to me, it almost feels like cruise ship port. Well, a little because I think we're in a tourist area. That's why we got to get, get out somewhere different, yeah. I think. We're not hating. I'm just, that's my first initial thought based on the area we've been in. Who's our home? I'm looking up the menu. On All right. My parents just got in. They're here. It's Nancy and Dave. <laughs> And uh, we're at this restaurant, Les Maisons de Marie. It's really cute. We're like in a little garden area. And is it all tapenade, mom? Yeah. Do you think? Delicious. It's good? Mm, yum. Dinner came out. I got truffle pasta. Julia got sole. Sole and mashed potatoes. I love the little containers. Nancy right? got a uh, is, uh, seafood pasta linguine. Pasta? Yeah. They've got filet of beef and french fries. Yeah. And we're golden. It's so live review. Let's. I want the. Pretty good. Yeah. 
It looks like nice, like crusty dough. It is 11:30 in the morning. Jet lag, yeah. It was jet lag. I'm feeling, I'm feeling fine. I pushed through yesterday. We both did. Yeah. But I fell asleep last night when we should have, and you sit up till three. I know. Well, and I know you don't want to hear about jet lag. Anyways, we've been walking this morning to go get coffee. We figured we get some steps in, walk to get coffee. Everything's super walkable, which is so nice. We're gonna walk to the hobo, which some of y'all recommended. And it looks good, but we were like, let's just try something. I don't know, the hobo doesn't seem very local to me. It doesn't at all. This looks a little bit more interesting. Yeah. We just stumbled across this place and it looks cute. And now everyone's looking it's at it. It's called Cafe Fino. Beautiful salmon toast. This looks gorgeous. Gorgita. Mm. Good combo. Radishes, mm -hmm. avocado, pickled onion. I love a smoked salmon. It's so good. I think only French food, which we already know, is by far the best. Like, coming here, I feel like you can't have a bad thing. Like, they don't do bad food. It's a lot of, like, basics. Yeah, it's, like, classic, but it's just they done just do correctly. They just do it well. They don't miss. Ever. Yeah. Not even, like, cheap food. Oh my coffee. Mm -hmm, me too. Wait. Or orange juice too. How do you call it? Do you call it? Oh, or, orange or, juice. Or orange juice. Mm -hmm. Definitely have to recommend this spot. Where's the sign? Oh wait, there's already said the sign. Um, probably the best cappuccino I've ever had. Did you say? Like you tried it, right? Yeah. It's really good. Well, and they have oat and almond milk here, which is not a norm. I feel like everywhere. This is the oat so. milk cappuccino. And Jen, just it, the espresso tastes really, really good quality. Yeah, and the food is really good. The food and they was said, awesome. I think that I heard them saying that for uh, uh, starting after breakfast, they have Their tables books. booked all day, and it's only Tuesday, so I think probably it's really like good. A good spot. Yeah. and it's cool inside. It's like a little villa inside. Yeah, it's cool. Check it out. By the way, I would definitely recommend last night's dinner spot too. Mm -hmm. It was called. Uh, La Petite Maison. La Maison de Marie. Oh. Oh, La Petite Maison is the other place. It's the place that Delaney Payton recommended. Yeah. And we got a lot of rec recommendations from you guys as well. We almost went there. Well, we went to a place I found called La Maison de Marie, and it was so good. So good. It was really good. I had a fish with like cream sauce. It's delicious. Sorry, we didn't vlog a ton of it last night. My parents just got it and we were catching up with them and everything. Yeah. They're back at the hotel right now. We wanted to venture out for a little coffee date. You know, they're not always down for all the bells and adventures, all the bells and whistles. We're gonna we're gonna maybe hit the beach club today. I, we got a lot of recommendations from you guys for a lot of places outside of Nice. Yeah. But we're here such a short period of time. I know. And we're gonna hit Monaco for a day. Yeah. And we're leaving to go to Saint Tropez. Today's our only day in Nice because tomorrow's Monaco, and then I we're know. leaving the next day. Well, what I suggested was that we rent. So we're renting a car on Thursday to drive to Saint Tropez. I think we just rent the car a day early and we drive through all those towns on the way to Monaco. Well, some are on the way to Monaco, some are on the way to Saint Tropez. Oh, uh, okay. Well, vice so. versa. I know, but it just depends how long, like, the day in Monaco, do we want to, like, make a day of it in Monaco? I don't think there's that much there. I think it's, like, literally go, walk around, and have a lunch. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, do we want the check, too? Yeah, we'll take the, the check. The check, whenever, okay. yeah. Thank you. We're, like, we're in a hurry. He's like, he's pretty They, like, go, yeah. Everyone's so, like, I mean, you realize how fast America is. We're conditioned to be, like, check, check. Quick, 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 and they're always like, okay. Well, yesterday we had the credit card out. Hunter always pulls the card out when we're like ready to get the bill. Just a natural reaction, and the lady goes, so I, I take it you want the bill, I see the credit card out. We were like, sorry. But I wasn't like here, I, no. just, I just put it on the table. I know, I'm just saying like, we, you don't realize some of those behaviors. Like, but I, 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 don't think, I don't think it was like rude. No, it wasn't, it's just. It was I think like, it'd be rude if you're like here. Yeah, like my dad did at dinner last night. <laughs> Uh, but he also guys, doesn't know it's his first time here. I'm so. sure you can all relate. Your parents in the baby boomer generation. Oh my god. My dad literally took the credit card. 
<laughs> and it <laughs> waved down the waiter. <laughs> and he goes, here, here, we need, the, we, we need it right now. Check, I'm like, dad, oh my God. Constantly embarrassed, you're just like, I'm no, so but sorry. He's, <laughs> no, he's fine, he's his, fine. Time, he's his first time. And he hasn't gone to Europe that much, but it's just funny traveling with somebody that hasn't really experienced that and they're just like, have no filter. <laughs> yeah, I remember my, my parents, their first time in Paris. It's their first time out of the out of the United mm -hmm. States, so like, what do, you, what do you expect? Than to think that they don't know, yeah. yeah. But you know, you think you'd pick up on some of the social cues a little bit, but like some people just don't do that. My mom's a little bit more like trying, like, a scene thing, she's, like, a, trying she's also to, like, more well traveled, yeah, and totally. she's an intellectual who knows a little bit of French, <laughs> so oh my god, my mom and dad could not be more opposite. My mom is like bookworm, like studious, like, and my dad is like street, yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh man. Anyways, I'm liking Nice. It's um, I was telling Hunter, it feels like it's still like a city. Like the architecture is similar to like Paris. I mean, Paris is like obviously you can't beat it. It's like New York City basically. But when but you're in certain crack. pockets, like even right now where we are, our view. Actually, you can see the view in our yeah, reflection. Yeah, exactly. It's just like right across the street, and it feels like you're at like a little cafe in Paris. Yeah, and it's so pretty. But um, yet, if you look around the corner and stuff, it's like there's not as many buildings. It's smaller, and you know. Totally, it just feels a little bit quieter, which I tend to like. I think sometimes in big big cities, that. I get overwhelmed. So, wait, who is talking about that? That Nice is kind of, Nice is like Paris by the sea. Oh, did someone say that? Yeah, who told me yeah, it's that? It's kind of nice. Kind of, well, it's and also, nice. it's kind of <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, All right. Also, you know what I was thinking about? I remember that, um, remember the neighborhood in Paris where we got our tattoos? And it was, it kind of reminded me of this. It was just a little bit more like livable, like yeah. real people, not just like tourists. But a little bit more edgy. It was cool. I liked it. Like small cafes, there were people with like families, and it just felt a little bit more comforting. Okay, okay last story I'll tell about baby boomers. <laughs> this is TikTok about like this girl is like our age and her parents she was sitting at dinner with her parents at their house and she ordered crumble cookies on like Uber Eats. <laughs> and they go well where are they coming from and she's like they're delivering them they're delivering the cookies and they're like they're like so puzzled and they're like well what time are they arriving and she's like probably they'll probably be here around like 8 30 p.m and they're like well, we were gonna watch our show. She goes, it's not like it's like an event. Like <laughs> the cookie arrival, they'll just leave them at the door and we can just, you can have whatever you want. It's not like, you don't have to plan your schedule around when the cookies are arriving. <laughs> they could figure it out. <laughs> and they go, so we, so maybe we still watch the show and maybe we eat a cookie. So do we need, to, what time do they get here? Do we need to come down to the living room? And she's like, no, I'll just let you know when the cookies are arriving. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it is funny. I'll show you. Okay, we're gonna finish up our coffee and then we gotta go. We jog. Let's walk. We're not jogging now. Let's walk around. I'll walk along the, the bench. Alright, I'm coming alive. I was Scrooge Havens for about an hour this morning until the caffeine yeah. hit my body. We're changing it's her, so we're funny, changing you can her literally Instagram. change, feel the shift. We're changing her Instagram back to Scrooge Havens. Scrooge Havens. <laughs> Scrooge underscore Havens. Wait, what are we in the account called Scrooge Havens and it was just on my worst moment? Yeah. <laughs> be hilarious. Oh Look how cute this little artist store is, you guys. All the brushes. I gotta show my dad. My dream is to be an artiste. So I don't know how to paint, so I gotta learn that first. So cool. Oh my god. I need one of those. Alright, walking to the beach. Okay. The ground's ready. And we're gonna try to do a beach club because if not, it's pretty rocky. Um, which is fine, but I thought we'd check out this one. I don't know how much it's gonna cost to do the beach chairs, but. No. No. Umbrellas and your yeah. beach. Yes. Yeah. Uh, both fast. Because you don't want to do that, do you? No. No. <laughs> I figured you did it. <laughs> we made it to the beach club. It is thirty dollars per chair. We'll get the next round. This is oh, this good. is a uh, La Villa. Yeah, it's right across from the hotel. It was so. the closest one to hotel. They all seem pretty much the same. So we're like, let's just go to some. Yeah. 
a lot of people were saying to take a train to Paloma Beach. Yeah, there's like other beaches and other towns that people said go to, but I thought that was a little adventurous for our group. I would do it, but I don't know. I doubt, you know, he's gonna get summer fast. Well, it, yeah. I need to get you sunscreen anyway. But but after taking like, <laughs> if you take yeah. a 45 minute train ride, it takes up like there and back is two hours. Yeah. And we're only going to be here for an hour. I know. Too, it's so. like, I mean, I'm going to stay a little long. I'm staying long. I'm really worried you guys. I wide up. What? Oh, that's okay. Because I'm in the sun. I have Zinc's uh, chapstick if you want it. Because I get literally get sun blisters every time I'm in the sun. And I can't yeah, do it it's anymore. It's like sun disease. So I say, what sun is it going to like when you get allergic to the sun? Is every time you get something happens to that's you? That's what's happened to me. Disease. That's what's happened to me. So... I ordered some surfer's chapstick on Amazon, and that's the way I've got to do it. All right, Julie and her mom are in the ocean. <laughs> she said, did I overdo the sunscreen chapstick? Absolutely, but we do not want to get burnt lips, so we're going hard on this because... It's menthol. Yeah, it's like menthol peppermint. I ordered these on Amazon. Um, they're like surfer's chapsticks, but... No, last that you need. I know. Last time um, Hunter and I were in Montauk, as you guys know, if you watch that vlog, our lips got so burnt and it lasted for two weeks. And in a uh, We literally get it everywhere unless we are like, I, I even wore sunscreen chapstick and it doesn't, it's not strong enough. So I was like, I'm screw it. I'm doing the zinc oxide because I got to go hard. So I don't care if I look like a freak. I like need to protect my lips because it's just too painful. It's when you want to like say, we say vamos, let's go. Let's play. So you're using it. Yeah. The, the literal translation is we play. But um, it's imper imperative is when you like say something like an order, and that's the form of the imperative. Vamos. My mom's a tutor, so she's play. teaching us Spanish and French while she gets a massage. Where have you heard that? Yes. All right, Julia's turn. Oh my God. How was it? So good, but you know I walked. 23,000 steps in foot <laughs> We didn't say that on the vlog. We walked oh, yeah. 23,000 steps yesterday. Yeah, Pretty good. So <laughs> Drama. <laughs> We're back in the room. And we just showered. Ready for the evening, and, and I just did a even a cute little dress. Some salt hair. Well, a skirt. that's a uh, maxi skirt, and then my favorite Walmart tank. Looks good. It's the best, yeah. I want black slacks, black shoes, and this is the shirt I got in Montauk. It's a uh, oh, your little satin. Thing. What's it called? What's the brand? It's, it's a oh, it's non Ceroyal or something. Ceroya. Ceroya. They sell you, it on like forward or revolving. You have some like bras and stuff from this brand. Like, it's yeah, like a lot of silk a stuff. Satin. satin. They, they're specialized in satin, I think. But anywho. Anyway, we're getting ready for the evening. We're gonna walk down to Old Town. Yes. And then we're gonna go to dinner. Walking to dinner. We're gonna stop at some vintage stores on the way. And I'm wearing a skirt, and it's just a little, there's a seam at the bottom. It's a little narrow. Oh, no, 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 no. Wahoo! Oh my god, jackpot. <gasps> How fun! <laughs> Yeah. It should be a hard one to This way. On our way home. That was fun. We went to Wayne's Bar. Alright. Alright, good morning. What's up? We're at the train station in Nice and we're heading to Monaco. <laughs> Monaco. Monaco. It's Monaco in French, we've learned. Um but we're doing a walking tour. We just figured that'd be like the safest route just to like learn the history, yeah. see like the main parts. Yeah. Might be a little touristy, but we don't care. No. Um, so we met the tour guide here at the train station and we're taking a train ride from here to Monaco and back afterwards. So we'll take you with us. Oh, and uh, 30, we are going to have to go without them and I okay. tell them how to join us. We cannot commit the train, really. Okay. It's awful, like it's, uh, there's like maybe half an hour between the two trains. Yeah. Okay. Don't okay. Really. Okay. Don't want to miss the train. Okay, we don't want to miss the train. Excited to see Mom? Yeah. Okay. Carlo. Okay. On the train. We're sleepy. Uh, you have to 
to know that in the first half of the 19th century, Monaco was still really poor. All right, we are at the world famous Monte Carlo Casino in Monaco. We just walked inside for a second and we're just chilling out in this courtyard. We're on like a 10 minute break before the tour continues. Met some friends. Yeah, say your names. Hannah, Lily, Avery, and they're from Vancouver. Vancouver. Everyone asks if we're American or not. Yeah. 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 This is the corner of the, the Grand Prix race. Very cool. It's the tightest corner. The tightest corner. F1 race. Yeah. Okay. Looking at the Port Hercules here in Monaco, as long as you pay to keep the boat here, it's perfectly fine. You can leave the boat here. Just give us the money, you know, again. The, always the same thing, like give us the money. Like, <laughs> the uh, so this is... Well, the biggest boat will really be here. Yeah. We're at the market in Monaco. And we got some beers, an Aperol Spritz, some waters. I ordered some sushi. You got a po oh, poke bowl? Yeah, poke bowl. The market's oh, cute. And all the food looks really good inside. Mm -hmm. it looks so what's, good. what's this called, this market? It's the only outdoor market in Monaco. I don't know what it's called. Yeah. But we got a couple pizzas coming. I got some sushi. I got a pasta. Just some stuff for the table. Yeah. I had experts last night, but they're a little syrupy for me. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. They're hard to drink. Like, mm -hmm. it's nice for a few sips, but it gets a little sweet. This is the market. Inside there, let's see, can you see the words? Marc de la Condamine. I don't know how to say it. Pardon my French. But it's inside there and you can kind of sit outside. Good little spot. Julia's grabbing us espressos for the rest of our walk. They put a stick in it? Yeah, for Um, he's. He at the gift shop. At the gift shop. <laughs> oh, man. There you go. Oh, that's cute. Oh, nice. Yeah, right? Beautiful. Cheers. Cheers. Just a casual hike after lunch. <laughs> Going down or up to the castle. Plants on both sides of the Yeah, all around. The only piece of, you know, bond that is not surrounded by ponds is the piece that is surrounded by the sea. And how did they get it? We didn't talk, talk about the story of No, not yet. No, not yet. Yeah. Yeah. Mom versus dad. <laughs> Mom's planning the curriculum. Yeah. That's a big word, huh? It is a big word. <laughs> no. I'm laughing at the comparison of you two. Oh, man. All right, we're stopping at this designer vintage shop here. The tour's over and we broke, off, broke away. We're going to head back to Nice on our own, but... Nancy had found this online when doing some research. Like secondhand deluxe. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Those are cute. Oh, they Little heart. Perfectly my size. They are vintage Dolce and Gabbana. Mm, not too bad either. And the heels actually not that high. It's like two inches. Those are cute. So are you. Those are cute. I dig. They're kind of fun, huh? Let me ask my mom. She doesn't like them. We watch my stuff. Mom. Oh, what do you think? What? The shoe. Cute. Fits you perfectly. I know. The heel's not that high either. What do you think? What do you think? Do you think girl like that? Look her chew that heart off. <laughs> totally. <laughs> well, no, he doesn't rip things up. He would just carry it around. He carry it around. <laughs> we can't miss it. Definitely not getting seats now. Whoops. <laughs> oh, we're gonna, all the people have to get off, you know. 
dad's like, fuck that, I'm getting a seat. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because he's the slowest on the walk and now he's like leading the charge because he wants to get a seat. Totally. Oh my god. <laughs> so we made it. We made it. Came back on the train. We got a seat this time. We got a seat this time. It's much better. We got a seat on the way. Yeah. So we're headed back to Nice and it's our last night in Nice and then we're headed to St. Tropez tomorrow. So, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Final stop. This is our stop. We're almost back. It's been a long day. It's been a fun day. And I would say if you're going to do Monaco, it's kind of worth doing a walking tour. You learn a lot. I feel like a tourist. But that's my personal But I'm saying, it depends what you're going for. If you're just going to go to the shop, then no. But if you want to like learn about the city and the history and all that, it's worth it. Otherwise yeah, I mean, it's cool lost. to see. It's cool to see. You got lands. But, but, anyway. It just takes a big chunk of that's, your time. That's my honest opinion. I bet the other towns are cuter than the ones you guys went to. I'd be like, Ez, and we didn't have time to do all yeah. that. I bet those are cute. Okay, shall we? Do you have any ideas for dinner? I need to figure that out. We need to do it. I know. It's been sweaty. 90 degree heat all day. We made it back to the hotel. I went for an ocean dip. Um, we're exhausted. We're from tired that day. from uh, Monaco. I'm like so sweaty. We're going back to the beach to take a quick dip. And it's a rock beach, which is cool. And it does kind of hurt your feet, but like when you are on it for too long. But it's kind of a vibe. Yeah, I like the rocks. Yeah. More minerals. Oh, look at all the sweat stains on my shirt from yesterday. Oh my god, I know. Well, we're like, we really don't do this much walking in this lot of a climate. I know, we've, we've hit 18,000 steps today. We'll probably finish up after dinner hitting like 22,000. So it was uh, great. I love the walks. The walking onto the beach. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, I feel like the rock beach is kind of a vibe. It's pretty comfortable. It is. I know. I like it. It does. It does. Like, it's not the best on your feet when you're going in and out of the ocean, but no, it's still good. I don't mind it though, and it's just different from. It feels very like Mediterranean. I don't know. Yeah. There, there are some beaches that aren't rock beaches here. Yeah, I think when we go to Saint Tropez, it's gonna be sand. Yeah. Yeah. But we got dinner reservations for tonight. She didn't like when I called. She was, she was just like, "Oh yeah, what time?" And I was like, "7:30." And she's like, "Okay." Yeah. Like, are you gonna write it down? It should be good. I think it's chill. I'll just be like, I called. She said my. She asked for my name. So. so should be a chill night. Yeah. After a long so day. Nice. I know. I think I'm just gonna like. It's a good way to wind down right here. I don't even know if I'm gonna put on makeup for tonight. It's gonna, like. Un natural. Un natural. Alrighty. Mm, it's a lovely dip. Like, it was so nice. It's so, so nice. I know. It's like perfect 80 degrees on the water. So lovely. Not too hot. It's just hot when you're like walking around and stuff, but when you're uh, near the water, it's literally perfection. I was just thinking it's cool because pretty much since we've been married, we've talked about doing a European summer. Well, so and I think we thought we would do one for like two months, but you know, three weeks is good. In European summer, meaning beach, like we've been to European yeah, summer. Yeah, like, like Riviera and doing like beach towns and going in the ocean every day and having like a true summer Euro experience. And I feel like we're sitting here on like Mediterranean and finally happened. So it's pretty cool. So nice. I'm happy about it. I don't want to go to dinner. <laughs> I want to stay here for like an hour. I'm so tired. I want to get a salad tonight. Those salads look really good at this place. So I'm What's excited. It uh, I don't remember. Thing. I think it's a boulangerie, which means they make like bread and stuff, but it's like a restaurant. It's good. I love the European families. Same. But like they just like do travel so much. Well, also. The kids just play. I feel like the people here, like the culture is way more affectionate. Like the families are more like lovey-dovey. Like everyone's like super close Agreed. and like 
they're like touchy-feely and you see multiple generations like grandparents with their kids and like it's really yeah. cute I feel like I'm well I guess you do see that in America well I would say there's like places like like the south for instance in America like in the south it's more, it's more like family oriented but yeah. it's less lovey-dovey right less affectionate right Cute. They're so cute. Um, Alright, should we go? We're going in. I thought she was dark haired. Did the same person that was sitting just a second ago? I think so. It's kind of a vibe, just like getting the top off and going and taking a dip. Yeah. I can appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, this girl just took the top off on the street. But I, even like, I mean, it's just but like you, you get so more skin, it's not even deal. I know, but as an American, like, since I'm not used to that, like, I just want to stare. What's the policy I don't though? Know like, why. like, obviously, there's like, you can be like top of the beach, but like, you don't see anyone top of walking down the street. No. Is it like once you get on the beach, it's fine? Probably. Right. Oh, hello. We're back in the room getting ready for dinner. I'm wearing this cute little mini from Princess Polly. Some necklaces, Lily Clasp, Miranda Fry, Lily Clasp, Lily Clasp cuffs. Actually, that middle one is new. It's a rainbow one. It is from, what's her name? Nene Lane or something. She's a Nashville designer. Anyways, we're spending the getting dressed. He looks really cute. Yeah, I'm dressed. We're gonna not bring the camera, we're just gonna go to dinner. Oh, this lighting's great. Right? The sun is cool. Golden hour. <laughs> um, but. Yeah, we're just gonna go enjoy dinner with Julia's parents on our last night, and we'll see y'all in a little bit. Good morning, everyone. It is around 8.15 in the morning, and Julia and her parents are still asleep, and I just picked up our rental car at the airport. I Ubered to the airport, picked up the rental car, because we were leaving Nice today and driving to St. Tropez. St. Tropez. St. Tropez, and we're meeting Julia's sister, Nicolette, and her husband, Dan, and their two babies, or two kids. We've met their oldest, Gio, Giovanni, but Nicolette had a baby uh, three months ago, Luna. We're excited to meet Luna. We haven't met her yet. So we're gonna catch up with them today in St. Tropez, and we're gonna stay in St. Tropez for a week, which will be the next vlog. We're stoked for. All right, just got back to the hotel. It took me like 25 minutes to find a parking spot. There's no parking at the hotel, no valet or anything like that, obviously. So, it took me a while, but now we are meeting for breakfast and I'm gonna keep it a chill morning this morning before we leave for San Tropez. All right, Julia just woke up. I was in a, literally, I was in a dream. I knew I didn't hear from her, so I'm like, I bet they're sleeping. Oh yeah. You it just was... woke up. Nancy, what time did you wake up? Uh, 9.45. Okay. I just slept 12 hours and yeah. I'm jealous. You went to sleep at 9.45? Yes. Dang. Uh, and all the way through, you never woke up. Well, it was, I had some light moments. Yeah. I never turned on the light, never read my book. You know, because yeah. I had trouble with my knee last night. Oh, you did? When I lie down, that's when my knee hurts. I just can't understand. When I stand and walk and pound on it, it doesn't work. But when you lie <laughs> down, it just... When it, when it rests. It to... When it rests, what is yeah. that? Yeah, that's unfortunate for you because you like to move around a lot. I do, and so, it's not that. It's like I'm on a Tempur-Pedic bed, but this bed was kind of on the hard side. But yeah, not, it was doable. Yeah, but the pillow, it's too high for my neck. It's too high for my neck. I that's know. why I asked you about the pillows. What would you say? Your pillows were all fluffy. I looked over last night. Well, then you should have taken them because I hate fluffy pillows. But you were, you didn't want to be bothered because I had a light on for a moment, and you were like, turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we had breakfast. We're vintage shopping today. Our favorite thing to do. We, I told y'all earlier in the car that it's our last few moments in Nice before we head to Saint Tropez and we're doing a little vintage shopping. So cute. It's really cute. It as a desk or vanity. I like that as a vanity. These are my cousins. It's nice. It's really I really like this a lot. It's like a stone carving, engraving, in a wooden frame. How cool is that? That's nice. Those are pretty. These chairs are really pretty. I know, I love the fabric and the colors. Mm -hmm. The colors are great. Really great. Those, those will look really good. Like, in our house. Yeah, yeah even like against a modern table. Totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you mix and mash it. It's so good. 
Love all the art. What? Love all the art. We gotta get art, Hunter. I don't care if we look like idiots on the airplane with our art. Well, you'd have to sh you'd have to like, or you put it in a big box and you do it in like the special check. I'm down to do that. And then, you're ballsy. Next stop. <laughs> I know. I thought it was no, beautiful. Are you kidding? Kind of makes your eyes go cross-eyed a little bit. I thought it was raised. I know. That's a gorgeous piece. Really cute. Are you still with the abstract? Yeah. Trying on this vintage Chanel necklace. I'm looking for some long vintage Chanel necklaces, but I can't decide if this one's too bold. I mean, I kind of like it. Hmm. See. Here's the place if anyone is wanting to come back. It's Mademoiselle. Vintage shop Chanel Vuitton and Hermes. Uh, We're at this linen store. Dave is getting a shirt for Saint Tropez. Oh my gosh, little blazers? Are you kidding me? I'm in heaven. Heaven. Right, we're going to another vintage shop. This is. Oh, you looked at an article and you said this is the best. You're freezing. Uh -huh. We're going to another vintage shop, we're buying some linen pieces here. They have tons of like linen. We just got some shirts and stuff. I got her shorts. Um, and we're going to a designer vintage place. And it's two floors apparently. My mom looked up an article and this blogger said that it was her favorite and ease, so we're going, yeah. So here we go. We're gonna get some suka for lunch, I think. We're going to the vintage shop. Yeah. Oh yeah, this looks like it. There's some Chanel stuff. That must be it. Is that it? Caprice? Yeah. Caprice? Is it called Caprice? Cute. Oh my god. Magnifique is right. That is so pretty. Okay, you have to show me. Don't be shy. Promise? No. No, she's... Wow. Do you... How do you feel in it? I mean, I like it. Yeah. I just don't know where I'd wear it. It's beautiful. I mean, I'd I mean have to cut this lower tier off. Yeah, you'd have to you'd have to alter it for sure. But it's I mean like you'd have maybe, it forever. Maybe the atelier could shorten this. Um, this vintage store is so cool. It's like literally in a cave. Oh, it's got so much fun stuff. A lot of designer vintage. That's cute. A little knit bag, pink. Tons of scarves. Look at this. Woohoo, so fun. I wish I wore more scarves. I need to do that more. It's hard to style, aren't they? I have to wear a bandeau under it. It's like cute. That's a scarf. Okay, if I wore a bandeau, I would wear it at the top. Cute. Or over a little bikini. Um, how much? 10 euro? I mean, come on. You gotta get it. I'll put it over a swim. Ooh. I love vintage shopping. Bonjour, Marie. Bonjour. Okay. Cute. Okay, we're getting it. Let's go. All right, I dragged everyone over to Chez Pipo. All right, we're really finally awesome. trying the famous soca. They're trying to get into the menu. I know. Amazing. Hunter's been wanting to get it every day. Oh, my God. It's good. Okay. Delish. This is how they make it. So cool. Wow. That's so cool. Oh, by the way, so I'm wearing my Tommy Jones today. They're literally my sleep shorts, but I styled them. And I found a purse at the vintage store that I thought I'd share with you guys. It's it's cool. It's a French brand. What's the brand called? Sonia Recal. Sonia, Sonia Recal. This one. Sonia Recal. And here it is. Oh my god. And I really liked it. 
for the Come color on. and we thought it looked like kind of like a Birkin not that I'm like trying to look yeah. like a Birkin but I like how it had some more movement to it like slouchiness and the hardware is like my perfect gold clearly I like this gold like, oh the my God. and then also the strap and it's kind of the perfect size so but I know you're worried about it being cute. basic but it it's, it's, not all, basic. it's all about the fit that you have with it it's so not for basic. sure I know I know I know I, I need like a little bit more of a classic bag. Oh look, there's a little chain in here. It's just... Is that a chain in there? What's that for? Is it, is it for your key? Oh, for your keys. That's too. cool. So it and it's cool. a Parisian brand. Trust so, me, yeah. I love it. As soon as you don't like it. Yeah. I almost didn't love it. What? Almost yeah, love almost it. left it. <laughs> right, <laughs> correct. Was it clearly thinking about it? I almost left it in the restaurant just now. What you know this? how far our walk is right now for the walk? 30. Yes. 30? 47. Wait, really? Minutes? If we walk? That's how crazy. How do do that? That's why she had so <laughs> yes, <laughs> sour look on his face. <laughs> My dad's oh, overall walking, steps. for sure. Oh, it's a 47 minute walk. <laughs> really? We're going to Uber, though. How do we do that? The Uber's two minutes away. Back to the hotel we go. On our way to St. Tropez. All right. All right, folks, we're in the car heading to St. Tropez. That is the end of the Nice vlog, and, and we'll see you guys in St. Tropez for the next video. We're pulling into our villa. Yeah, I hope you all had a good I time. Know. We had fun. We definitely recommend Nice for like a couple days. Yeah, just And a we'll few leave days. all of our uh, suggestions Back in the below. description box. Bye.